The purpose of the wall was, of course, to create awareness. It had a, a weekly schedule of what was happening during Israeli apartheid week, and we've come this morning, and the word apartheid has been halfway painted over with the word propaganda, as well as brainwashing. And in terms of the MSA, what action will you now be taking? Currently, it is SRC decision. We are honestly waiting on SRC to take further action. So in the next hour or so, we'll, we'll have a way forward. The apartheid wall, as you put it, promoting Israeli apartheid week in Durban was vandalized and now the Witz wall is being vandalized. What are the responses of Muslim Students Association and other organizations that are working together for Israel apartheid week against this? Yes. The fact that people have already only seen it for the past hour at campus this early in the morning, it's been blown all over social media by other organizations. People are offended, tweets are going around, broadcast messages have been going around. And it, as South Africans, freedom of speech, we should be the benchmark of freedom of speech. And the, the vandalism, irrespective of religion, ethnicity, is infringing on rights. Now we've seen across the country that young people and youth participation has been the primary driving force. Now on your campus specifically, what can you tell us about youth participation? Thankfully there's been huge support by by comrades of the ANC Youth League, from SESCO, from MSA, from different Palestinian organizations, the youth mobilizing and the voice is growing. General consensus of South Africa is rejecting the state of Israel and people are coming out in numbers, students are coming out in numbers. Today there will be a balloon release as well as a peaceful demonstration at Fitch University where uh, jail cells have been built and so there will be a peaceful protest within them during lunch today.